24 days since Helene made landfall in North Carolina. And while recovery efforts are very much underway in the towns across the state, some rural communities remain unrecognizable. Queen City News reporter Taylor Young is in Yancey County tonight with how residents are getting by after weeks of isolation, no power, and no running water. I wouldn't expect anybody to understand the amount of devastation that's here right now. It's it's mind boggling. Every corner you take on Pensacola Road in Burnsville is met with a sobering reminder of what took place here less than one month ago. Rivers and mud carving out their own paths, taking trees, homes, and entire roadways with them. Once people started crawling out, walking down the road, that's when I knew it was real bad down further down the river. Tucker Fox is part of the Yancey County Rescue Squad. After weeks of rescue missions in some of the county's worst hit areas, he and other squad members paper towels back here and then the rest is just miscellaneous clothes are back at the station organizing what was once empty bays into a supply hub. And it's just it's 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 enough to bring you to tears, but it's also sad to the fact knowing that some of this can't even be used. And I hate to say that, but so people just don't have an idea of what how bad it's going to get as the winter gets closer. As of Monday, hundreds of residents across the county remain isolated, going more than three weeks without power or running water. As temperatures continue to drop, they have now become the priority. You take a lot of deep breaths and you do what you can do. Laura Watrous is one of them. Hanging around and, and feeling sorry for yourself isn't going to get any of us anywhere. For years, she's driven down what used to be a rental property along Tootie's Creek Road. Now it's where she periodically visits to pick up supplies. We'll take what we can get because we know that maybe somewhere in there we're going there's going to be what we need. Now we did hear from the general manager of French Broad EMC, the power company that services this region. He says the majority of customers should expect to have their power on by the end of this weekend. However, those living in rural areas like this one will have to wait for entire roads to be rebuilt for the company to be able to safely get machinery through. Until the landslides can be repaired and then the power company can come in, we're without power. While construction crews work to repair roads, those collecting supplies are no longer asking for food and water. Their focus now is propane and heaters. I'm looking at a county I've lived in my entire life and not recognizing things about it. It's fractured and nobody can be expected to understand that. And that's why we're grateful for these donations because anything does help, but it's just a matter of prioritizing what truly is useful from that. As recovery and relief efforts continue, there are ways that you can help victims in the in Helene uh, of Helene in the Carolinas. And when you scan the QR code in your screen, it'll take you to our website with multiple ways to donate. You can also find that info at QCnews.com.